The students were required to produce videos which highlight areas of cooperation and sustainable development. The project's year-long activities culminated with a prize-giving event conducted recently at the college. The video's subject matter, presentation, screenplay and narration, and production values were all evaluated in relation to the Sustainable Development Goals. The project entitled Caribe Excellence is led by Corisa, a research-based youth movement from Guadeloupe with the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College as a partner institution. Member of the SELCC Board of Directors, Dr. Alison Gajada, says the initiative is a wonderful start to what is anticipated to be a healthy partnership that augurs well for digital media students and the college as a whole. What you are taking away here today is not just the price and not just the technical know-how through the exchanges, but importantly, the cultural exchanges, the new friends you've met. And in chatting to the representatives from Guadeloupe, I know there are um, lessons learned that we could build on as we continue this partnership to actually encourage a deeper immersion in the culture. In March of 2019, Guadeloupe joined the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OACS, as an associate member. In 2021, for the second anniversary of Guadeloupe's membership in the OECS, the Regional Council of Guadeloupe launched the call for projects in order to forward the initiatives, allowing its population a better appropriation of its Caribbean environment. The project aims to strengthen the sense of belonging of the population, and in particular the youth, to the Caribbean basin, and more particularly with the constituent territories of the OECS. On behalf of CORECA and its president, Mr. Julien Merillon, and its youth movement that I represent today, I would like to thank all the partners and, of course, the site for the organization of the ceremony today, the award ceremony today. And I hope that it will be just the beginning for other cooperation, other projects, because we have a lot of projects that are in our mind today to, to do for the next month. And, Next years. The winning video prize went to the Eco Heroes group, of which Jessia James is a member. She says the group decided to work on the topic of waste management and conducted an interview with Director General of the OECS, Dr. Didicus Jules. We learned a lot and enjoyed being a part of the project. For me, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to interview Dr. Didicus Jules. As I was already familiar with some of his work, especially in the Grenada Revolution or the AMBA Invasion, which I learned in my secondary school history class. So I'm thankful for all my teachers because I learned something. Caribe Excellence is funded by the Regional Council of Guadeloupe as part of the call, I Cooperate with an OECS Country. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.